When Pierce Morgan came out as a two-spirit penguin on TV, as a two-spirit neutroid penguin. Well, you're not, you're not a penguin. Cause... I have to admit, at first, I was angry. <laughs> no! I had always known Pierce as a cis hetero human personality, and it felt impossible in my mind that he could be anything else. But then, as a person who has no gender or sexuality label myself, I realized anyone at any time in their life should have the right to self-identify. Well, I didn't necessarily understand it, that a human could identify as an animal. Those feelings come from a place of lack of education and lack of empathy. And also, my deep biased distrust of Piers Morgan. But when I saw his Twitter profile had been changed into a penguin, and that despite angry attempts to dismantle his penguin identity, that Piers was still adamant he was one, I realized that maybe, just maybe, this was a genuine part of his identity journey. That meant I had to be the person I wish others had been for me when I came out. If Pierce was feeling any bit as alone and hated for their identity as I was, they might be feeling extremely depressed or even suicidal. Finding a way to drop my ego and address my bias, maybe it could save a life. So the first step was to take a step back. My sadness, anger, suspicion, they were all my issue, not Pierce's. Growing up, I had always been told that a person can only identify as human. It didn't mean dropping my beliefs, but it meant not forcing my beliefs on Pierce because they were mine. The second step, I took it upon myself to read books, watch films, and educate myself about the intersectionalities that might be affecting Pierce's experience. Or is that appropriation? Why should I expect Pierce to do all that work for me when I'm the one with the problem? I also learned that trans species people prefer to be referred to as other kin, or if they're only spiritually connected to their animal identity, Therian. After educating myself, I realized that the journey that Piers was on was extremely complex, and it might take a little while for me to be able to learn all the language around it. For instance, penguins oftentimes use the pronoun it or in their language. Now that they're out, I wanted to know if maybe their pronoun preference had changed, and there were a couple of other things that were just really specific personal details that I would only know if I went straight to the source instead of trying to assume what they would want. I looked for peers in all the spaces I thought I might find peers. I went to the ice bar. I went to over 40 different fish stores and fish and chip shops. Still cold. I even went to go find peers on the pier. I thought maybe they might be fishing there or something, but there was no peers on the pier. <laughs> I reached out on social, but it got ignored. I wanted them to know that someone cared and that someone was here for their journey. We live in a world where equality of access and treatment should exist, but it doesn't even exist for humans asking for human rights, such as us queer people. Never mind animals asking for human rights, such as peers. I cannot imagine the turmoil in their heart that they must be experiencing through this struggle. It may be all overwhelming and confusing, but peers, I want you to know that you are safe. Many people who have been struggling with their identities will say that the most important thing for them to know is that they're valid. So I hope that this video helps you, peers. I hope you know that you're valid, and your identity is valid, and that we're listening. I hope that you can listen too.